Hey guys, Brian here with Mustang Mods Eagle Boost Garage, and today we're going to start the tuning process using the Cobb Access port on my 2019 EcoBoost Mustang. Okay guys, so I recently signed up with PD Tuning to get my car professionally tuned by Ryan Martin. So in this video, we're going to start the tuning process and I'm going to go over the, the procedures of putting the files onto the access port, loading the maps onto the vehicle, and then doing the data logging to send back to Ryan for the, for the evaluation. We're going to go through this process a couple of times, but I'm only going to show you one or two on the video. I've already actually loaded the first tune map, and I just received my second one today. So I'm kind of excited to get it loaded into the car and see how she performs. All right, guys, so here's how it works. You're basically, you're going to get an email from Ryan at PD Tuning. It's going to give you a couple of instructions on here, tells you what to do. Um, but then you're going to have your actual tune file, the PTM file that you have to download. So you're going to click download and then it's going to put it on your computer. From there you're going to want to save it into a file. So what I normally do is I go show in folder and then I copy it and I have a folder on your desktop but if you you know you can just create one pd and you can just paste it right in there okay so this is you can collect all of your tune files in a folder and uh, as you go through you can delete the old ones if you want or you can save them it's up to you okay so after you got your file saved to your laptop or your computer or whatever you're going to want to go ahead and hook up your Cobb Access port. Once you get it hooked up with your cable, you should be able to go down to, I have this saved to my taskbar, but if you have your icon or whatever, you just click on your icon. Now my formatting is a little weird because i got an alien layer and it's a little funky, but basically you just hit this drop down, you're going to look for maps, and you can see those are the maps that I have installed right here, but I'm going to want to go over here to these little icons and click on import files to access port. Okay, and then you're going to look for your file that you just saved. So I saved it in a folder called PD, so I'm going to click on PD, and then there it is, 1.1. So I'm going to click on it. And it's going to ask if you're sure you want to copy this file, so you just click yes. And then there it goes, right there, 1.1. So now my file is saved on the access port. So you can go ahead and eject your access port. And close out. And now you can basically take your access port out to the car and load it in, uh, load the file to the car. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to load this file from Ryan. So I'm going to go down to Tune, select Tune, go to Change ECU Map, and then in here we should have a list of maps, and there it is, right there, my map with PD version 1.1, which will be the second version. So let's see what this does. All right, I am going to... Alright, I had the car running, so I just went ahead and shut it off, and now I'm just on battery power. It says the 10-amp 10, 10 battery charger is recommended, but I just charged it up, so we should be good. And it shouldn't take very long for just a reflash. I wouldn't think it's not overrating the ECU like it did last time. Or it doesn't have to store the ECU data, I mean. Okay, it comes up with a message, please wait while the access port resets ECU learning. And success. Okay, so we got the green check mark, we should be good. Alright, 
ahead and turn the ignition off just like before. Everything's dark. It's been longer than 15 seconds, so now I should be good to go to go ahead and restart. Vehicle on. And I'm just going to check for codes. No codes were found, so that's good news. Okay, so we should be good to go to do some data logging. All right. All right, so I got the, the new revision installed at the vehicle, and it does seem a little bit quicker. I'm not sure what's going on exactly, but it, uh, it definitely feels like it's pulling a little bit more, and the shifts are really aggressive. Um, so I think we're getting faster, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some data logging here in a second. Basically, what he wants us to do for data logging is you go up to about 3,000 RPMs. I'm going to have to put the car in fifth gear um, using sport mode, and then uh, take the traction control off and just do a straight up pull between 3,000 and 6,000 RPMs. So I'm going to have to find a good place up here in Mexico where I can get the data log done, and uh, then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so here we go. Let's do our first data log. At 3,000 RPM, I'm in fifth gear. Traction control's off, so. Alright guys, so it's basically the same process when you're done data logging. You just plug it in, plug in the access port to your computer. Okay, it's going to boot up. And you see, I got my Mustang on the cover screen there. And once it does, you're going to want to go to your access port icon, open it up. I'm going to go full screen here. Okay. So that's all my files, but I want to go data log. So now you can see I've got some data logs here, right? So I'm going to just go highlight one, highlight them all, and then I'm going to go over to this side here and click on where it says save selected files to my computer. So I'm going to save them, and again, I've already got a, a file created for my data logs and I call them Cobb Access Port Data Logs and here's my 91 tune ones and I created a folder for each revision that I've got so far uh, let's just do this and call it test so I'll open up that folder and I'll save them in a selected folder and now if I minimize the screen here and open up my folder, there's my log. Okay, so what I can do is I can close out of the access port, hit eject, and once you do that, you can pretty much disconnect your access port and put it back away if you want to and then what I'm going to do is go to my email from Ryan Martin and reply and just attach those files to the email so as you can see I've done that several times here's my data logs attached to my email to Ryan and I send it back to him and I just let him know I've got some more logs for you whatever blah 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 and as you can see I've done this several times I went through uh, eight revisions on my 91 tune and then we started on E30 okay guys so I hope you see that the tuning process is pretty straightforward it's not too difficult 
You basically just uh, get the email from Ryan, you load it up into the car, and then you take the car out, you do some data logging, and then you send it back to him. He makes a revision, sends it back to you, and then you repeat the process over and over again until you get dialed in. Um, overall, I'd say that the car is running 100% better. It's a lot smoother. It's a little bit more aggressive. The shifts are more uh, aggressive, but on point. Uh, in normal mode, it seems nice and smooth. In sport mode or track mode, you can definitely feel a difference. Um, and I, I couldn't be happier. Um, and now uh, I'm pretty much done with the 91 tuning process, so I'm on E30 now. I went through uh, just one or two revisions of that. And uh, stay, stay tuned because you're going to see what the car can do on E30. That's, that's coming up in my next video. And uh, I'm also going to take the car to Famoso for drag racing. And you'll get to see what this car can do on the track, uh, on the drag racing strip. Uh, so with the E30 tune in it. So stay tuned, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you liked the video. And uh, remember, Mustang Mod Jacob's Garage. It's your location, your place. For all the mods and all the information that you could possibly want on your EcoBoost Mustang.